Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be doing a review of James Cameron's uh, miniature cargo hold when they were doing the movie 1997 and we have the little setup here so let me show you what it is. So it says cargo hold in Titanic 1997 movie. In the movie they used wait excuse me lead plating for the walls dressed with cargo boxes with a cpvc pipe in the movie they use steel piping this is built with cardboard this one's built with cardboard what i did is i just i did a time lapse of me building it i'll sh i'll upload that video too but after this video i'll upload that so here's my little cargo box with nothing in it of course just the freaking little thing but and we also have the pipe if you haven't seen so in the movie then you are blind because roll the clip the sinking of the titanic began with water rushing into the cargo hold through ruptures in the hull to actualize Cameron's vision of this event, Digital Domain's model team has constructed a quarter-scale version of the cargo hold. The set is dressed with period-accurate mail bags and cargo boxes. The wall is built out of lead plating, which will rip away when hit by a powerful surge of water. This is provided by a specially designed 15 fire hose water jet. That high-speed hose is attached behind it, so it looked like as it opened up, it's just the seawater just coming in at tremendous force. The torrent ruptures the hull seams and begins the Titanic's irreversible demise. This replica of a hallway in the first... Did you class... see it? I know, you saw this pipe. Um, so, yeah. And you also heard them talking about how they did it and stuff, so... If you saw it, comment and subscribe just you know just yeah just comment in, one, in any video you want to do and then tell me you saw it and this pipe that you see in, right in front of you so yeah so that's pretty much the review of it so yeah pretty simple so thanks for watching and bye bye